Hello everyone and welcome back to RPG World. Let's continue Indica playthrough with a new episode. Let's see what happened in this crazy game. <laughs> okay. We just get exit from the prison, right? And we have a very low points HP. I don't know what that. Прощай! Кричали облака молочно белые уж. Нет, наверное, и не вспомнить им, когда ответа не было и всей своей шатной войной. Болобушки. Well, but I keep I can play only first person now. What's wrong, buddy? Vodka was strong. You drank some strong vodka. Man, the, the attention of details, what's in, it's insane in this game. Very good. Graphic, it's amazing. Especially the... Oh. Hi. Where is the cadet? One second. Oh. oh. Did I undo my trousers? Where is the cadet? Well, um... They didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass... The Man, this is how... I think the game imagine how the life will look if they get together. Where's the cadet? Hmm, never heard of it. Someone just exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm? Oh, you are extremely lucky. This is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. What do you mean, 25? You got it for five. Hmm. 20 for everything. One whoa, second, whoa, whoa. I just need to have a look. You can look, but, but don't touch. What? What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Hold oh, no. on. It, it doesn't even fucking you work. Just puke in it or something. God. Get your ass out of here. Oh, my God. I'm evil. Okay, how many times I need to kiss this shit?
Oh my god, man. God. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fuck I'm playing, man. <laughs> Can't believe that. Basically, it's a reset. Multipliers, I think, is the best. Okay. 
How, uh, when this end? what I'm doing here, man. Okay, I... Man, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I can... How far I can go? Okay, I'm going until level 20. I'm doing. Ok, 
Okay, until level 20. I will stop at 20, I promise. How far the developers go crazy with this thing? Let's see what's happened at 20. to stay here half an hour to click this shit <laughs> it's weird but it's crazy i can't believe that Enough. I can't do anything. was the ending man I can't believe that I cannot believe that I'm I'm shocked I I, I can't say anything I, I
I, I, I didn't expect that. Oh my god, what the fuck I played. What the fuck I played, man. Oh my god. Man, uh, this is maybe something happened. Maybe something happened. Maybe it will be, I don't know, something after, you know, Dragon Dogma 2 ending. You still play a few hours after that. Maybe... No, th this cannot cannot be the ending. Had sense, had sense, no, of course, not the points amp, the thing with Ilya, basically that was the real life. He was a drunk guy who sell things for money, to drink, etc, etc. But this cannot be the ending. I, I, can, I, I don't have words to, to say anything. Okay, can I scroll quickly this thing? No. I think this is one of the weird games that I played on my whole life. And trust me, I'm playing games for 20 years. It's weird, but you know, weird on a good way. It's, it's different. It's different from everything that I play. I cannot compare honestly with any other game that come now on my mind. My first impression was to compare a little bit with Hellblade, you know, with Senna Sacrifice. Can be compared a little bit, it's, it's, a, it's a weird game as well, of course, different budget, we speak about a different category, but you can compare a little bit. Then the, the puzzle things can be compared a little bit. From what I remember, I played Siberia and the atmosphere from Russia, you know, with a lot of snow, that the vibe from Siberia. And also the puzzle things, a little bit can compare with Tomb Raider's kind of stuff, but it's, it's, it's different to, to add this game on any category, honestly. I, I don't know what I played. If you ask me what kind of game is, it's it's a new category. Weird, crazy games. <laughs> anyway, I think this we started already with the thoughts about the game. A basic, a, a quick review after we finish. <laughs> we already started that. So anyway, it's it's not bad. I really enjoy. It. I think the biggest complaint is very, very short. We have four hours, five hours, I think, in the game. And I don't know about the replayability. I don't think you have what to do, honestly. Uh, because I don't, I, 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 you don't have a decision basically to, to to take a different path in the game. Yeah, I I completed <laughs> level selection. Uh, 
maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm wrong, guys. I will try. Of course, after the recording, I will try to see. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe it's my fault when I said you don't have another path. Maybe you have a different way to choose, but I don't think I'm ninety percent sure. I'm ninety more than ninety percent sure. You you don't have another path. You don't have uh, choices to influence. I think the ending. I don't remember. Anyway, let's continue with that toast that review. <laughs> let's say uh, graphics very good. Attention to details amazing. Uh, Insane, I can say. Uh, some uh, uh, at the beginning, I get some frame drops type or something like uh, freezing for one second. Optimization was a little bit weird at the beginning, but after that was okay, more than okay. Bugs, I don't remember to encounter any bug in, in the whole game. Replayability, very bad in my opinion, because I don't see any reason to play again the game. It's zero replayability in my opinion. After, guys, we're talking now, uh, very, very hot, uh, you know, I just completed the game. Maybe it will be another path to influence the ending, to choose... But I, I don't think, I don't think is my first impression. Uh, the category to say about this game? No, I cannot say that because it's a, the the strangest, the, the weird game that I played on my whole life. Like I said before, it's it's very different from everything that I played, but on a good way, on a good way. Uh, a lot of focus on the religion things from Russia, from old Russia, which is, I don't know, many things about, I'm not a religious people, maybe, I don't know, I, I don't complain if someone else know more things about that, but for me it was weird, it was weird, very weird, everything was happened. I understand the story, it, I don't know. It is a real story. It's a fight between God and good and evil. Uh, Indica's head, <laughs> basically, the whole story. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still shocked because I didn't expect it to finish the game. I, I didn't expect that. Anyway was a very weird and good experience. I I really, really recommend. I don't know what price will have the game at the release, because now when uh, I'm recording the video, it's a few days before the release. But uh, if uh, it's a decent price, I really recommend. I really recommend this game because it's something different, something weird on a good way that you can everyone can everyone need to try this game everyone need to try yeah it was fun i really enjoyed i honestly i wanted more i don't know about that points i remember at one point in the game i saw the message don't bother about the points because it doesn't matter have it's pointless and for real was pointless. I wonder how much you can throw that boxes to, to, to get more points. How far you can go with that levels. How crazy the developers going with, with that thing. Oh, <laughs> if have no sense, it's pointless. It's, it's, it's crazy, but it's fun. It's, you know, I feel is that crazy and stupid fun from Bethesda games.
<laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Bethesda games without that uh, weird bugs, uh, weird things that happen in games are not that fun anymore. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a part of the game. And I feel a lot of things that happen in this game as well. A lot of crazy and weird things are a part of the game. On, on, and, and have no sense, but during the gameplay have sense. <laughs> it's, 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 guys, it's weird I, I, what I'm seeing because it's a weird game. It's a weird game. So, yeah, was fun. I wanted more. I think I will play one more time only to convince myself I don't miss anything. Like I said, I'm 90% sure I did everything, but I, I will play one more time because it's, it's basically it's four hours maximum, four or five hours you can complete the game. Uh, I'll do one more time just to be sure I didn't miss everything. But replayability is my biggest complaint about the game. Because if you already, you know, you have that fun, that weird fun, only when you play first time. Only when you play first time. Second time, if you play and you know everything what happened, it's not fun anymore. It, because you already. I already know the weird thing that will happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, the puzzles was funny. Sometimes a little bit weird as well, stupid, but uh, funny. What okay? Not something. I get stuck a few times. I think on the puzzle, stuck. Oh, stuck in the sense I I spend more minutes to to figure out. What I need to, what I need to do. But was fun. Was fun. The puzzle was okay. Nothing. Wow. Not bad. Not very good. Decent. Decent puzzles. That pixel game, mini mini games as well was crazy and weird. But at, at the end was fun. Uh, as well, I I don't see the the connection between the game and. How the hell to add that pixel game in, in an Unreal Engine 5 game with an amazing graphic? It's... And the points, that points, pointless points, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, if you are still here, thank you very much for staying here. Comment below what you think about this weird game. What's your opinion if you watch the, the, the playthrough? There are only four episodes. Thanks again to developers for the opportunity to, to play the game and uh, the review to do a playthrough for you guys before the, the release to have an idea what the game is. And, 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 and always when uh, I appreciate the devs that are doing this, give keys to streamers or uh, uh, release demo for the games. Because if it's good, I appreciate them because they they trust what they, they do. They trust the product. They trust the product is good. They have the balls to show the players what they are making. I don't understand the developers that they release a demo for one game and that demo is shit. Because I played a lot. I We have on the channel only this, this few months, this year, a lot of demos that I trade. And some demos are shit. Why are you releasing a demo for one game which it's bad. Basically, you make a negative uh, advertising to your game. Because me one, if I play a demo and it's horrible, how the hell to buy your game? 
Please, devs. It's a good thing to release demos for games because the, the, the customers, we, us, gamers, have an idea about your game. I'm very happy when I play a demo and it's good. And most of the times, most of the times, I will end buying that game. If it's my kind of game, if I really enjoy the dem demo, I'm the balance is going up for me to buy your game. But if, if, if that is shit, 100% I, I will wait for the release. 100% I will watch a lot of reviews, a lot of videos, a lot of streamers, a lot of uh, forums about the game to, to be sure you improved that shit demo. You know what I mean? But I really appreciate developers that have balls to release a demo for one game and when you play the game, it's even at the level of the demo or better. For example, Indica. I play the demo. I really, really enjoy it. I saw it's crazy and weird. And I say 100% I will play this game. Even if the the developers don't give me the key 100% I will play this game this game because I like it I enjoy it okay we talk too much thanks again for staying here comment below what you think like subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content we have a lot of indie games that we're testing and a lot of playthrough as well thanks again see you next time